This is just a wonderful family fun time, isn't it? Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and if you're a Kim Dracula fan or a member of the Kim Fact uh, Dracula fan universe, is it like a coven? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about this person. All I know is okay. These these okay. This, so this is so this is what happened. Okay. Berserker King Reviews said Old School Nerd Kim Dracula seventy thorns featuring Jonathan Davis. I don't even know who that guy is official video i gave it the old school nerd which means we're gonna do it now get him out of the way all right now so here's the thing <laughs> um i do know who jonathan davis is i was making a joke now here's the thing before i even start this reaction this is very 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 important if you're a fan of kim dracula this is your moment to shine this is your turn to be the most amazing kim dracula fan ever yeah, I'm 100%, and this is how this works, okay? I have no idea about anything about this performer, this artist, this band. See, I don't even know if it's a performer, artist, or band. I don't know. All I know, Kim Dracula from Tasmania, which I do know is an island south off the south coast of Australia. <laughs> oh, I know that. And that this video has 2 million views. They have over a half a million subscribers on YouTube, and they're pretty much a sensation. That's what I know, okay? So the goal is me to experience this for the first time. I have no idea what I'm getting into. And I'll be honest with you, the first time it came up on like a search or uh, uh, it came up on a suggested, I went, Kim Dracula, uh, Nazi, blah, blah, blah. I, I had that thought and I went, it seems cartoonish, but I've been convinced by my Patreon members, I need to check this out. So let's do that. Okay, so let's let's get into this. Um, I see bongos, I see a jazz club, um, I see blue hair, and I see uh, what appears to be a lot of artistic expression. So let's start this. I will probably stop it a couple of times because I have questions that I need to ask the Kim Dracula faithful, all of you, I need you to help me on this, okay? Because I don't know anything, okay? Trust me, I really don't know anything. All right, let's get this together. And uh, this has Jonathan Davis. Uh, for those who don't know who Jonathan Davis is, crack a freaking book or just watch the Woodstock 99 documentary on Netflix or look up Corn Blind Woodstock 99 and realize he had a half a million people in the palm of his hand for an hour and no one will ever forget that let's do this okay so we're copacabaning this shit um uh upright bass i see a bongo if kim dracula plays the bongo i'm gonna go nuts and um let's just go Shut up. You got a flute player? All right. So this is either going to be the greatest Jethro Tull video of all time, or all of these instruments and most of the audience in this jazz club will personally probably be on fire by the end of this video. I'm just guessing. Am I right? Okay, let's go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> 
take it personally You were versed in virtually nerfing the herd belief heard at least 20 people take turns Okay, whoa, I'm gonna need y'all help on this one Okay, remember when I told you at the beginning of this All the Kim Dracula fans, I need your help Okay, and I'm approaching this. I'm stopping the video right now. And I know if those of you hate me stopping videos, there is a reason. And it's actually a reason for all of you to help Kim Dracula shine right now. This is what I'm talking about. My shocked face was not because of the way Kim Dracula looks, the theming, the chaos, any of that. I'm pretty used to that. I grew up with Kiss, Alice Cooper. I went, the whole, I went through the whole Marilyn Manson thing, Nine Inch Nails. Uh, you're not gonna shock me. I mean, you're not, okay? But what had me shocked was, the, uh, was literally the layers of vocal, harsh, jazzy, obviously some aggressive rap deep line bar throwing and piercing belting notes. It's a lot of variations of vocal talent. So this is not just a, another pretty face. This is someone with amazing talent. Now, here's the thing. Um, I, and this is why I'm stopping it. Because this is to all of the Kim Dracula fans out there. I need to tell you two things. Number one, this is very important. I'm a reactor. Not a performer. Not a hype person, not a fake YouTube channel. I'm literally a reactor. What that means is, this is a 100% reaction. My job is not to hype an artist and make you click and clickbait. That's not what I do. I don't know anything about Kim Dracula except what I told you. From Tasmania, kind of a hardcore metal style. Obviously, there's a lot of amazing theming going on. And when I first thought about it, my first thought when someone said Kim Dracula was. But obviously, we've gotten past all that. So, I don't know anything. I mean, I saw there were some bars being spit. There was amazing vocal talent. There was this smooth, jazzy thing. I saw what appeared to be Kim Dracula playing a Jackson guitar in a very hardcore riff. But also, at the same time, Kim Dracula is wearing a naval commander's outfit with Prussian field marshal bars. Kind of like my dog. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Uh, and you had so many things going on. So here's, this is what I need all of you to do, okay? Um, I need you to let me know what I don't know. But please do it in a way that's understanding that I'm being respectful of you and this amazing artist. I don't know anything about them. So please don't go into the comments and try to Kim-splain me about, well, you should know everything about the artist before you do a reaction. No, then it's not a reaction. Duh. This is an actual real first time me experiencing this. So this is your time, if you're a Kim Dracula fan, to help me know more. Tell me the best things about Kim Dracula, what they're known for, what they do, what should I look out for? This is your time to get me in on this. If you just bash me, I'll probably never do another reaction to them again. You want to know how you know this? There are other bands, popular bands, bands with millions of followers just like Kim Dracula. And they just wanna bash me in the comments because I don't know everything about the band already. So I will never do reactions to those bands again, not because the band's not great, but because their fan bases are fucking toxic. Yes, I said fucking toxic. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you haven't been around my channel very often, have you? So, this is how we become friends. You help me understand what's going on so I can appreciate the creativity. Now. Why was my, sh my face shocked? Second thing I wanna tell you, there's a lot of amazing musicianship and obviously vocal talent going on and I was overwhelmed by all the layering. I'm feeling some Ronnie Radke feels. I'm feeling some definite hardcore metal feels. I'm feeling the power vocals and I'm definitely feeling a sense of overwhelming creativity. And that's a testament to you guys. So let me know what I'm missing. Fill me in in the comments as we go. I'm gonna try not to stop it unless I absolutely have to, but based upon what's happened so far, I'm probably gonna stop it at least once just to go, what the hell? Because it seems to be a pattern here. And I thank you for your time.
Just so speak, I'm sick of feeling like I'm a villain in the first degree. Stick to me, you think it's out. Zip it to God. I don't do anybody. I gotta keep your being down. That's the one. That's I just put him in the day. Take up a plate. I want to see him out of the pockets. I'm going to put him in a different way. I want to feel something. I want to feel something. I want to feel something. There's so much swagger. Mr. Davis? Get the hell out of here. Zombie horde horn section. I thought the flute was over the top and it is, and it's awesome. Love that. But the zombie horn trumpet player, just shut up. It's so good. Now, I'm sure someone's going to try to Kim splay me in the comments. I'm catching it. Is there nothing that Kim can't do? Drums, guitar, does everything? Is it one of those situations? There's obviously massive amounts of creativity and talent going on from the way Kim moves, the way Kim walks, the way Kim can express emotions where I think she's going to eat Jonathan Davis in this tiny box city of Lilliput. I mean, like, she screams... Uh, uh, Kim screams at Jonathan and I'm like, oh, Jonathan. And then I remember Jonathan probably likes that shit. Here's my favorite thing. Do you think that Kim Dracula, when requesting Jonathan Davis be a part of this song, contacted Jonathan and say, Jonathan, um, do you, do you want to be in the, uh, the video? And Jonathan's like, Kim Dracula, I would love to be in the, in the video. And then Kim Dracula goes over to Jonathan and says, could you bring the iconic mic stand? That, that mic stand is iconic, right? I mean, it's, it's as iconic as Jonathan wearing a kilt. You know? The little things, everybody. It's the little things. Here's the thing. Uh, Kim, you just acid death touched your drummer. Um, are you going to play drums the rest of the song? Or, not saying you can't. Plot hole. Throwing it out there. That's trippy. Okay, stop. Okay. Uh, okay, everything about this, I was cool with. I really, really was. But that slow curled smile after the crown went on Kim's head, that's the kind of crap that haunts my dreams. Thank you, I think. All right, so here's the thing. For those of you, and I just want to make sure there's nothing at the end. Is there anything at the end? Sometimes you never know there's sometimes there's some, no, it's not, there's nothing at the end. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. We're gonna let this play out without sound so I can talk to the Kim Dracula fans. Okay, 
Here's the thing. The artist band ensemble, whatever this project is, remember, I don't know anything about it, is referred to as Kim Dracula. I know that the performer has an original name that's not Kim Dracula, right? Saw that when I tried to find out where they were from. Now, I try to use the word they because I don't, I don't know gender and quite frankly, I don't think it matters. Kim Dracula is Kim Dracula. Now, because, because the name of the artist is Kim, I said she a couple of times. I don't know if that's a preferred pronoun and I don't, again, I don't think it matters. I'm just trying to enjoy this performance and this artist. Um, is this something that's going to be on my playlist? Probably not. And it's not a bad reason. This is so over the top. It's probably going to amp me up and give me a speeding ticket if I play it on my playlist in my truck. Would this be something that I would enjoy in the gym? Yeah, this is probably something you play in the gym. If you go to the gym and you're having just a crap morning and you can't seem to get started and then you want to scare the bejesus out of yourself and actually you get through that set, Kim's going to get you there. Um, creatively, this is one of those things that you share with your friends and go, okay, you got to see this crap. You got to see this. This is this. If you, okay, you, you remember Marilyn Manson? Yeah, watch this. This one has blue hair and could do things Marilyn never thought they could. Kim, Kim Dracula, just this being my first reaction to this performer, has so much ridiculous time. This, this is the part where Kim, look, 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 the, look, all of this, the performance, the walk, the swagger, the, you know, the, all, and then the look on Kim's face when Jonathan's on the stage. Look, watch, watch, watch. I want to see this moment. Watch. The look of Kim, that, that look, that, who is this? And all of a sudden, the smile. That, right there. Wait, that. That right there. I'm going to try to catch it. There. Right there. If Kim Dracula was not a music artist, Kim Dracula could be an actor. Kim Dracula could be a theater persona, could do any sort of acting. There's a level of emotion that Kim puts that is, and I want, I don't want to kind of go with me on this one, not being offensive to anybody, Jim Carrey level manipulation of one's face and emotions. You know, Jim Carrey was always known to be like way over the top and could like literally, perf but it was almost cartoonish. Kim's putting out these levels of emotion and performance from even a look in Kim's eye, a look from just a smile, walking and that, that little thing right there, that was classic. That was, to me, that was like, that was killer. It's just like a half a second of a video. There's a level of creativity in this that even if you don't like the music, let's say you don't like the harsh vocals and you don't like the, the hip hop bar rap stuff or you don't like the metal part. At the very least, you have to appreciate the level of talent and creativity that goes into this. Now I know that this reaction is almost 20 minutes. But I wanted to take the time to tell all of Kim Dracula's fan base, all two, it's like a half a million subscribers on YouTube, millions of views. I appreciate this on a high level. Creatively, it's, it's outstanding. So thank you to all of Kim Dracula's fans for letting me react to this, knowing nothing about Kim Dracula other than the name, Tasmania, and hold on to your butt. That, that's all I knew. Oh, and Jonathan Davis was in it. I knew that. That's all I knew. So if I didn't get something right, let me know what I did. Thank you for that. Please be nice. I'm trying to be nice. If you're just going to come into the comments and, and just be an ass, it doesn't do Kim any justice. It doesn't do Kim Dracula's fan base any justice. I won't listen. But if you say, hey, welcome to the Kim Dracula universe, and you let me know what I'm missing, thank you. You'll probably even get a pin comment. Who knows? It's supposed to be love here. That's what we're trying to do, all right? So with that, I want to say thank you so much for everything, and uh, I look forward to another one. If you have a suggestion for another Kim Dracula reaction you want me to do, put it in the comments. And if I pick yours, I may just let you know it was you. And with that, 
Thank you. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later. Oh.